Thanks, Mike. Mike talked about uh, business travel being all business, and I agree, usually it is, but I'm gonna tell you a story tonight about one that really paid off for me. Um, I had a client, um, tobacco industry, Puerto Rico location. They weren't gonna be our client for much longer, we all knew that. So I was trying not to spend a lot of money on them, and I was not giving them a whole lot of attention, right? And they kept saying, come visit, come visit, come visit. And I kept having excuses why I couldn't, and kept setting up conference calls. And finally the woman called me up and said, I'll pay for it, come visit. And I was kind of embarrassed. I said, no, no, I'd love to come down. I can't wait to see you. Um, so I ordered airfare and she said, you wanna stay at the Intercontinental Hotel because I can pick you up in the morning and give you a tour of Old Town before the meeting. Okay, that's great, I don't know what that is. But I booked my hotel and I fly down and I get to the hotel in the afternoon, I get a meeting the next morning and there's a, ho there's a casino in the hotel. And I'm not one much for gambling, but I was going like, you know what? I'm gonna bring $100 down and go wild, right? <laughs> $80 went wild in around five minutes trying to play blackjack, <laughs> right? It went the wrong kind of wild, it was gone. And I was like, well, this is the dumbest game ever invented, right? <laughs> so I took the other 20 and turned it into quarters and went to the slot machines. And a couple hours later, I was up around $200. And I thought, this is pretty cool, but I'm tired, right? So I went upstairs and I tried to sleep, and first night on travel, I can never sleep. So I tried for a while and I said, I'm gonna take the same $20 bill, leave the rest of it up here, and go play slots again. I get quarters and I go, a couple hours later, I've got $200 where I'm like, this is really cool, right? But I got a meeting in the morning, so I'm going to bed. And I try again and I still, I toss and turn a little bit and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go down one more time with the same $20. I can't lose, because it's only the $20 bill, right? And I go down and I put three quarters in the first machine and I pulled, I win $250. I'm like, all right, I'm leaving right now because this is too good to be true, right? Um, and I cash out, and after I cash out, this nice young woman tells me what she'll do for me in exchange for some of that money. And I, I decide I, want, I don't want to get paid that way on vacation, right? So I immediately go to my room and I lock the door and I'm thinking, no, no one knows me down here, I'd be dead and no one would know what's going on. Um, so I stayed in my room the rest of the night. Client picks me up, I get to see Old Town. It's beautiful. Painted doors, cobblestone streets, kids laughing and walking around. I think of this is great. Before I even get to the meeting, here's how I've been paid, right? I got 600 bucks in my pocket that I didn't have before, and I've got this beautiful vision of Old Town San Juan. It, it's beautiful, right? Go to the meeting, it was, it was innocuous at best. I don't know why I needed to be down there. We didn't do anything really important. But I said before, it's a tobacco industry. The only thing memorable about this meeting was every five minutes, someone in the room asked me was I sure I didn't want a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> and it, after like the second time I answered no, they looked at me like I was crazy, like we were underwater and I was denying oxygen. You know, I'm like, no, no, I'm good. I'm like, really? You're good? And, and I didn't, but, but they kept doing it. And I started thinking, because the meeting was so meaningless, that I was part of some sort of experiment. Like they had this cigarette that made you addicted by smelling it. And they were trying to see if it worked, so they invited me down. But at the end, the meeting was over, and they gave me this really nice golf umbrella. I'm like, this is cool, 600 bucks, visions of old town San Juan, and a golf umbrella, I'm winning, right? My flight is not until later on in the afternoon, so I say, I'm going back to the hotel, right? And I am not going near the casino, because I already won there, I'm smarter than that. And I'm sitting on the beach, drinking a beverage, enjoying the afternoon in Puerto Rico, and I figured I better check my work messages, right? Because I am actually technically at work. And I have a message from a New York client, and he seems very irate about something. So I figured I better call. And I dial his number, I say, Greg, it's Peter. And he said, you sound far away, where are you? I said, I'm sitting on a beach in San Juan, Puerto Rico. He said, oh, I'm not gonna bother you on your vacation. This can wait till Monday. <laughs> Well, I never said I was on vacation, but maybe I am, right? I said, Greg, are you sure? He said, no, let it wait till Monday. So I'm thinking, all right, well, I have a good meeting. I have $600 in my pocket. I've got an umbrella, and I have a happy New York client. I don't think I've ever had one of them, right? Today is awesome, right? So I get on my flight, and I go home, and I'm tallying up on the flight all the things I've got today, the things I just rattled off. And I'm sitting down with my wife when I get home, and my son, who's around six years old, my daughter is this big at that point, right? And we're, you know, I'm eating dinner and they're sitting with me and my son says, Dad, you know what? I said, what? He said, 
I decided I'm going to give all my change to poor people. Wow. You know what? I'm going to match it by $300. And Jody said, you're what? <laughs> Let me explain. I won $600 at the casino last night, right? So I give half of it. The other half of the $300, I probably wasted on books or music, my two biggest vices, right? I couldn't tell you what I bought or if I remember it. So 300 gone to the little sisters of the poor, 300 gone to books and music. It's gone, right? I don't have that anymore. The Puerto Rico client I knew was going away, they went away. I don't have them anymore. The guy from New York took a different job, started his own company. I don't even talk to the guy anymore. So what I've left, got my golf umbrella, <laughs> and I've got my visions of old San Juan, right? A couple of weeks later, we're at a soccer game for my son who's six years old and playing for the first time in the league. And we're watching the game and cheering the way parents do, and all of a sudden it starts to rain. And I say, ha, I've got a cure for this. And I run to my trunk of my car, and I open it up, and I pull out the golf umbrella, and I pull it out of the long sheath that it's in, and I open it up, and it's got tobacco products advertised <laughs> all over it. So I immediately threw it away. So I'm here to tell you tonight, despite all this paid vacation I had, the one thing I have left is my beautiful memories of old San Juan. Thank you. <laughs>